Introduction Facebook is a massive traffic monster. As of this writing, it has over 1.3 billion, and that's with a capital B, daily active users. Think about that. Over 1.3 billion people using the same website day after day. On top of this, it continues to grow. Also, when people are on Facebook, they pretty much stay there, and they view page after page of content. In fact, on a month-to-month -month basis, as of 2017, Facebook has slightly over 2 billion monthly active users. Of all Americans, 79% use Facebook at some level or another. If this wasn't impressive enough, the next platform that gets the highest percentage of American users is Instagram, which is owned by Facebook. Instagram clocks in at 32% of American usage. Among U.S. residents, 53% reportedly use Facebook several times a day. In terms of the world's total population, more than 22% of people on the planet use Facebook with some level of frequency. The point is, Facebook is a massive traffic monster. You really can't afford to miss out on Facebook and its marketing potential. If this wasn't impressive enough, wait, it gets even more mind-blowing. Once people log into Facebook, the system basically keeps tight surveillance on them. And the crazy thing is that this is all done with their permission. When you sign up for Facebook, there is a user license agreement that you must consent to. Unless you read the fine print, you wouldn't become fully aware that once you sign in, every like, comment, share, as well as pages that you liked and even ads that you clicked will be monitored by Facebook. It's as if by watching your behavior, Facebook can make educated guesses as to what your interests are and can then show you advertising that fits those interests. Sounds pretty fair, right? Well, this extends across the board. That's right. Every group you join as well as interactions on Messenger are monitored, tracked, and targeted by Facebook. This is not lightweight targeting, mind you. When it comes to fine laser targeting of demographic groups based on individual user behavior, nothing even comes close to Facebook. As awesome as these traffic statistics, advertising technologies, and promotion potential may be, I've got some bad news to report. Too many businesses still fail to fully leverage Facebook. This training teaches you the best ways to promote on Facebook. It also gives you step-by-step -step instructions so you can engage in Facebook marketing with a higher than average chance of success.